Assalamu alaikum all, my name is Yusuf Azwain and I study at Capital City Academy. Would you be so kind as to put the headphones on? How does Lady Zainab inspire you? There are many things that Lady Zainab has as a character. She was very powerful, very strong and very determined to maintain the word of Islam, the true religion. And also she has many, many charisma and uh, she's a perfect role model for the young women of Islam. When you think about the tragedy of Karbala, how does it make you feel? The tragedy of Karbala was one of the main events that happened over time and still remember today. It, is, it was a moment where Islam was at stake. It was a moment where Islam was still remembered till this day. It was a moment where the minority was oppressed by the majority. It makes me feel very heartbroken because the fact that as a human we need to learn and acquire characteristics and personalities to not, you know, kill or have these kind of lusts to, for killing a minority just because of what they believe in. It was a moment where we truly remember those heroes that stood their ground and stood with their belief with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that makes me feel proud that I am part of this, that I am part of these uh, moments where we have majalis and commemorations to remember those who have died in the battle of Karbala. What lessons can you draw from the life of Lady Zainab, for example, her patience? As we all know, one of the things that Lady Zainab acquired was her patience. And through that she has suffered many tragedies, outwitnessed many things such as the deaths of her family members. She has taught me many things and the fact that she is so strong and the fact that she stood her ground when she was being oppressed, she stood her ground after her brothers were killed, after her nephews were killed, after all her family were killed right in front of her. She still stood her ground and she was strong enough to oppress those who tried to push her away and tried to kill her. What do you most admire about Lady Zainab? The thing I admire most about Lady Zainab 
was her patience. Honestly, if, it were, if I was in her shoes, I could not, I could have never survived and tolerate such pain. I could not stay, stay you know, sane and uh, feel like everything's perfectly fine after witnessing so many things. And she's not only patient, but she's also strong. And her belief is so strong. And that truly makes me feel very proud that I am a follower of Lady Zainab. Lady Zainab spoke out against the injustice of the Umayyad rulers. What do you think this tells us about her character? If I see injustice right in front of me, usually I would hope that I would stop it. But before that, I make sure that what I'm seeing is truly injustice. And before that, I also make sure that I understand the situation and I have enough knowledge and information to control the situation. Otherwise, I should not get myself involved because it may make things worse, make the situation worse. And if I do not have the enough knowledge and I make sure I gain the enough knowledge by understanding what justice is, by understanding what humanity is and what being a human in today's society is. And if I see injustice, I would hope to approach them and stop this before it, gets, before it accelerates to a worse situation. In what ways is Lady Zainab a role model to you? Back in the Battle of Karbala, when she was being oppressed by Yazid, she stood up and spoke out her words. And to me, that truly is a person who deserves the title of role model. To me, even though she was a woman, she didn't take that as a factor to stop her and refrain her from saying things that she believed was true. And her relationship and bond with Allah and her brothers made her really passionate and strong about the words that she was saying. And she truly understood what those words meant to her and how it really affected the people around her. And to me, that is a person who has acquired such great characteristic and a personality that I want to also acquire and also show when I am being oppressed. If you had to describe Lady Zainab in one word, what word would that be? The one word that I would use to describe Lady Zainab is resilience. And the reason is because when she was being oppressed and when she was in a, in a place where she didn't feel the most comfortable in and she didn't feel safe in, she, show, she had shown resilience. And the fact that she backed off and uh, she used her words as a shield to what she believed in. And she used her knowledge as the sword to attack back. What can Lady Zainab teach us about being loyal and committed to the Imam of our time? Like she was to Imam Hussein, the Imam of her time. When Imam Hussein was being targeted for what he believed in, she had two options to decide from. The majority, which believed in something else, and the minority, which followed the Imam Hussein. And she chose to follow Imam Hussein and remain loyal to her own brother. And she remained loyal to what she truly believed in. And to me, we should also do the same. We have, many, uh, we have so many beliefs in today's world. There are so many different opinions and views about different things. And what we, should, what we believe in should remain within ourselves. And we should not follow things blindly but we should truly understand what we believe in and why we believe in it. If you were given the opportunity to tell the world about Lady Zainab, how would you describe her? If I had the opportunity to speak out and tell the world who is Lady Zainab, I would say she's a woman that deserves the attention and deserves the hearing from all people. Her story really inspires me. Her story would inspire everyone else because the life that she lived is nothing compared to us. The challenges she faced is nothing compared to us. Obstacles she went through, it's so great and far greater that myself, I myself, if I was in her position, I would break down within minutes. If you could leave a message for Lady Zainab, what would you say? I'm
حسرتني النفذ نايبة ظل اعدامي امي ماتت وانا مت مسلبة وانا مت مسلبة ماتت الزهرة الزكية بدم بينها مخضوبة ماتت الزهرة الزكية بدم بينها مخضوبة وانا مت متون زرقة والعباية مترقوبة وانا مت متون زرقة والعباية مترقوبة امي ماتت لشن مكسورة قلوب وانا مكتوب اندفن بين الغروب امي ماتت لشن مكسورة قلوب وانا مكتوب 